Innovation is one of the significant matter that will always be a part of people concern. Today, we will show you how to apply innovation in a set of rules that we can apply as students in our daily life to protect our health. Before we get started, I would like to redirect your attention to a matter that is related to our situation right now, which is about COVID-19. We see that the virus has hit countries around the world and taken us back to growing board in order to reach into the new norm. Social to physical distancing, mass extension, various at office, new hygiene practice, and the ongoing race to find the vaccine are among the innovative people came up with. However, school remains as one of the high risk places when it comes to COVID-19. Despite having enforced distancing rules, which will be our meat and potatoes today, still find that it is hard to actually implement the correct physical distancing practice in a compound with 600 to 2,000 people, especially when they are hungry. The big question is, how can we make school a safer place for everyone? It is evident that QR codes are very useful and very widely used nowadays to reduce as much as contact as we can at shop or shopping mall. But how to make it more effective in school to become a teacher to enhance our physical distancing? Despite having enforced distancing rules, we we'll still see canteen and school bookshop being overcrowded during recess. Now, let's go through one by one on how to make an innovative set of system during this pandemic by using QR code in school. How will it be any different? We will integrate and maximize the uses with Google Form. As an added value, even the physical feature of the guide, like the color, can help us improve physical distancing in school. Cost effective, reliable, safe, and no free, we call this system cipher. I will show you how and when to use cipher in school. First is canteen, where all students will go to when they want to buy their meals during the recess. But do we really impose social distancing properly? Maybe, but to be honest, it is time consuming. Some schools still use the conventional pen and paper style to jot down orders and make lists. Not only that, it is passing, but it is also a risk of contact. Once they go to the canteen, the staff will scan your cipher and record your purchase to be deducted for your weekly payment. For my school, I will get students to pay 25 ringgit to the canteen for a week with a present meal offered daily. I know you will ask about how to order it, right? Payment is done on a weekly. Best it to have is the burden on family and help the canteen operator to prepare. If any amount is left unused, it will be carried forward to the next week. It's simple, not extra charge credit system. Hmm, how to place orders? You might ask. Don't worry because we've made a link which you will submit your menu of choice the day before school. Also by using Google Form and it will become easier for the canteen staff for prepare food to the student and avoid waste. Second, this particular card also can be used to take the attendance for every class in the school and it becomes faster than before because our class teacher will need to access Google Form into the class list to submit his attendance in school record. Third, the same form can also be used to record student temperature. By using cipher, we will only need to check our temperature. Keep in mind and tell the teacher in the first period before entering class. To be honest, the possibilities are endless. We can include the discipline record, library, health, and dental check. A lot of people might wonder how to further use the cipher to make physical distancing even more effective. Let's take it up. For one, we can color the cipher card differently for different subgroups to class growing for recess at the same time. And this will make it more systematic for the canteen to handle the students since they are divided professionally. Second, by using the kind of information idea, the canteen can distribute food to students at every station suitable for them. The operator only gives offer food scan by using the school robot condition. This cooperation between school and canteen will make the student more protected when to practice distancing. The canteen will be less crowded during recess. Now, let's redirect our attention to the perks of using this idea. The first impact is about time. When students start using cipher, they don't need so much time to take out and collect the money, but using cipher instead. This action we prove that using cipher can save our time and reduce contact aside from improving physical distancing in school. Moreover, the cipher is also easy to bring anywhere. It fits in your pocket, snugly, just like a student card. Of course, we trust you to keep your cipher safe. But let's say on one fateful day you happen to have not bring your cipher, the school can bring up the temporary card for you, so you still can eat for the day. Plus, the student don't need to bring a lot of money to go to the school. Cashless is the way to go. Lastly, the most important point is we can tell servants being infected by the coronavirus. To conclude, we would like to say innovation is not just about upgrading to something sophisticated like having a robot and so on. With our project, that's the ground and there is so much budget to be implemented. We hope people will never take physical distancing lightly. 